So before the very wise teacher of Buddhism was born, the Buddha, his mother, the queen, was visited by a white elephant. And the elephant, in Asian traditions, is the animal that represents wisdom. Like, really, they're super, super smart, and they have great memories, and they do things in just the way that they should be done. So this elephant came to the Buddha's mother and kind of poked her in the side. And she knew that something special was going to happen, because elephants are wise, and elephants are slow. And one of the ways that they show how intelligent they are is by how they walk. So we are going to practice walking like an elephant, elephant to teach ourselves to take our time and to go slowly. I'm going to show you. Maybe we could form a line behind me. Just one step, two step. One step, two step. One step. We can do this. Don't be shy. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now, as the elephant is walking, the only thing that is on the elephant's mind is one step, two step. One step, two step. One step, two step. The elephant's not thinking about what it had for breakfast, or what it might have for lunch, or how it missed out on the French roast coffee because it got here too late. <laughs> one step, two step, one step, two step. The elephant is only thinking about one step, two step. If ever we're feeling scared or worried or anxious, we can walk and think like the elephant by focusing on one step, two step, one step, two step. Not rushing. We have nowhere to go. We're just walking. And perhaps if the walking doesn't help us, we can think of that song, and I'm going to sing it. Sisters, brothers, take your time, go slowly. Listen deep within yourself. Simple things are holy. Sisters, brothers, take your time, go slowly. Listen deep within yourself. Simple things are holy. So I want you to remember, you can always go slowly. You don't have to rush. You can focus on the things that you're doing right here, right now. And it's as simple as walking. Can you remember that? OK. So let us sing our children off to their Sunday school service, classes rather, with the word.